Here we go. We got another one where I had to put this tarp up there to hold the drywall up. Like, see how this stuff falling down over here? You know what I'm saying? Previously video, I had it to where it was, stuff was falling down. So, I don't have money in my budget to tear this stuff down. Um, Sometimes the unit is preoccupied, so people are coming home from work and they don't want no dust. Or sometimes, you know what I'm saying, sometimes these chemicals could be really bad, so we got to cover it up. So what I do is, I take this drywall, <clears throat> I take some bath sheets. You know them things that go in the bathtub, um, you know, they just go in the bathtub, they line the bathtub up. And what I do is, I put it up there, put it up there accordingly to the joists and then I found out that's a good thing is the screws actually line up with the lines on the shower curtain when you take it out of the pack <laughs> so I just took the screws and put them like you do drywall and shore this up with my hoist lift after in the next video when I lift the drywall up to there I'm gonna lift it up but like in the last video it had this wall that was there was it had that white piece that was right here so what I did was I tore that down. I tore all that down with a um, masonry trial, a flat one, and just scraped it off and um, popped it and everything. And um, that's another side of the chimney over here. So I'm gonna do the same thing like I did in the bathroom. I'm gonna take the masonry um, compound and put it inside of these holes and fill these holes in with masonry compound. You know what I'm saying? The masonry compound is really good because what it do is it fill in all these holes. Everything get filled in by the holes right there. And you good. All you got to do is just make your mix. You know what I'm saying? You make your mix. And what that do is it uh, comes into like a cake mix. You make it just like cake. But not as soupy as cake. You make it like icing like frosty icing and so what you do with that frosty icing you take your masonry uh trial where well, our masonry trial live somewhere around here i don't see it but what you do is you take it and you smooth it you take you some gloves and put your gloves on and smooth this out you see what i'm saying let's smooth that out Put your gloves on, push it in them walls, push it in them holes. And another thing I do is I take the vacuum and I suck the vacuum and I suck all the dust out of there. You know what I'm saying? Between these walls. Because when I paint that, I don't want all that on my paintbrush. That's another key thing that you do in these crevices right here. That you're going to smooth on just like a masonry would do a corner a piece of concrete. You're going to just smooth that concrete onto there. And it's gonna be good. You gonna be good. I'm trying to tell y'all, MoRice.com, at YouTube, Anthony Fields. Uh, yeah, man, this is what I do. All oh, y'all don't know. You know, this this what we do. This preoccupied people's place that I'm um, using as my space and utilizing my time. And then I use a good tarp too. Gain all that stuff. You see that? You always want to put your guitar down. You know what I'm saying? They're real sufficient because all you got to do is just fold the corners and pick it up and open it up and put it in your trash receptacle. You know, whatever trash receptacle that you have, you use it. 